Alright, so that should be all the clues in this room so far. So on to the deduction board. Alright, so first page. So the bishop shoes are missing. One of the murderers left in different shoes. So what does that mean? So you got some weird answers right here. The murder murderers threw the bishop shoes away. Obviously not. This is a member of the clergy. There's no proof of that. So one of the members left wearing the bishop shoes, which seems more likely. Got another answer here. So why did they uh, take the shoes? So they did have labor shoes coming here, which back in 1800, laborers didn't make much. So it's safe to assume the murderers are poor. Alright, on to that. So the veranda. The veranda wasn't searched. Matched up with the helm. wealth. Which is the only thing of value. Which means... Murderers got the wrong person. Unlikely the bishop took the murderers by surprise. Could be. The wrong person, why did they have to torture him? The murderers were looking for something specific. Most likely answer. So like I said, it's not that hard. Alright, and the final conclusion. The bishop's murderers are hired by someone. The murderers search for the bishop's shoes, or murderers wanted to steal from the bishop. Well, they did steal from him. But uh, they didn't have to torture him. So, they wanted something. And, uh, it seems like uh, they were paid to do it. Alright, so when you get the correct answers, you get the check marks and will turn green. So on to the next page. So they weren't on they were unable to open the chest. The victim was tortured. The penitus. So between these two the savagely tortured. The, the bishop was used to pain. So the most likely answer here the bishops were assisted to torture. Alright, and concluding answer. The murderers came here to kill the bishop. Uh, they got that job done, if that was it. Didn't have to torture him, unless they were really into that. The murderers got what they wanted. Uh, it didn't seem so if they didn't get into the safe. The bishop's murderer didn't get what they wanted. Seems a likely answer. Perfect. There you go. It is evident that the Bishop of Knightsbridge's killers were after something specific, and that they did not find it. Reverend, I shall ask you one more time. Open the chest. The item they were seeking must still be inside. It is unlikely that they will let this matter rest. They will most certainly return to finish what they started. And I am telling you once more, the chest is locked and shall remain so. Very well. We have reached an impasse. You are a stubborn man, Reverend. Watson, accompany our friend to the police station and return with Inspector Baines. Baines and no one else. I shall wait for you here. Go. Alone at last. Now I can continue my investigation. Alright, with everybody gone, we're going to go ahead and try to get into this room. So if you remember that metal rod that we picked up, go ahead and pull it out. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. Alright, this mini game is quite simple. So basically you gotta get the rod to the shape of this line here in order to hit the locking mechanism. Alright, so there are four parts. The head is the straight part always. So you just gotta bend the other three. Like that. Like that. And like that. Perfect. There we are. It is simplicity itself. There isn't anything much in this room. It must be used as a reading or meditation room. Let's have a look. An ink stain, quite fresh. This stain is just on the edge of the rug. Let's see. There is nothing on the floor, yet the ink must have soaked through the rug. Peculiar, isn't it? All right, let's check the uh, desk. This inkwell was tipped over recently. All right, it's, but it's not stained on that side. An ink stain. The ink stain on the floor comes from the ink on the rug, but they are not in the same place. Someone has moved the rug recently. So what are they hiding under this rug? Let's check it out. That is curious. There is something strange on the floor. 
Certain stones have been marked out, just like a chessboard. A chessboard, huh? All right. All right. So t uh, time to look under this cloth. Apparently, someone wanted to hide this statue. And it's shaped like a knight. So we got another puzzle coming up. This horse resembles a large chess piece. There is a message underneath this statue. Let's see. So it's a, it's a clue how to solve the puzzle. This message was written by a woman, but for whom was it intended? Interesting, this chess game. All right, so go ahead and pull out the, the knight and place it on the chessboard. So the objective is to uh, have the horse go all around the chessboard, fill in every square without landing on a square twice. So it's rather quite simple. Uh, just keep going around and you'll get it. Keep going around. All right, and the secret will be revealed in the last square. This last piece should be the good one. It will have to be pulled free. All right, so go ahead and pull out Holmes's knife. There we go. So I've already read this, but feel free. Pause it and go ahead and, and read uh, on your screen. A packet of letters addressed to the Reverend. They were written by a woman who mentions his illegitimate children. Their affair isn't official. Perfect. I have you now, my wayward Reverend. Devious. All right, so go ahead and exit the room. Cutscene. Ah, Watson, you were gone a terribly long time, and Inspector Baines isn't with you? I'm afraid not, Holmes. We were unable to find him. Dr. Watson would not allow me to contact any inspector other than this Baines. What manners! I am a man of the church! My dear Reverend, I notice that you are a chess lover. I trust you will excuse me, but I am never able to resist the appeal of a half-finished game. You are an expert at chess. Very well, then. What do you want now? As you might have guessed, resolving your small chess problem has allowed me to discover some very interesting letters. Letters? What do they say? Reverend, why hide these letters here and run the risk of the bishop finding them? Holmes, what's in the letters? Not now, Watson. Where else could I have hidden them? My own chambers are too austere. They could offer no cover. I knew, however, that His Excellency, may he rest in peace, would not notice my game. The contents of the Bishop of Knightsbridge's chest interest me greatly. Give me the elements you hold, Reverend. Out of the question. All right, so he doesn't respond well to corruption or threatening, so since we did pick up the evidence, might as well use the blackmail. I am a gentleman. And it would distress me to be obliged to pass this correspondence across to your superiors. Holmes, I know that the end justifies the means, but allow me to express some reservations about how you are proceeding. You say you're a gentleman, but I hear nothing but the words of a blackmailer. The stems that you are looking for are scattered about this room. Manage by yourself. All right, let's go find those stems. That's so there's one right here in front of you. Or three of them to be exact, in a bundle. Right, so, into the bishop's room. There's one right there in the corner of the bed. And into this room. There's two right here. And the last one is hidden in the plant. You have one. Evidently, as I always do. What are you able to tell us about the Bishop of Knightsbridge's last days? Did anyone come to visit him? Did he seem worried, anxious? Do not omit the smallest detail. 
His nephew came to see him yesterday at His Excellency's request. I found this visit a little peculiar because the young man rarely visits his uncle. Do you know why that might be? Were they on bad terms? I don't think so. It's rather a consequence of his work. The young man is employed within the archive section of the Royal Library, which doesn't leave him with a lot of free time. Do you know the reason for his summons? No, but the conversation was very heated. It only lasted for a few minutes and ended with the nephew in a terrible rage. Interesting. I've answered your questions. Will you now let me contact the authorities? I'm afraid not, Reverend. Not just yet. All right, now we can open the safe. All right, now you can solve the other puzzle. All right, so the objective is to have each of the stems, you know, one square, but they do not cross uh, vertically or horizontally or diagonally with another. So let's go in and start putting them in. Put one right here. one right here, uh, one right here, stick one right here, stick another one right there, Put one right here, and another right here. Now I can open the chest. Alright, so go in and turn that knob. Here we are. I am eager to discover what remarkable treasure could justify such an act of barbarity. Extraordinary! This chest is impenetrable. How is it possible? No one other than the bishop should be able to open it. You open the chest with disconcerting ease, Holmes. I've seen and heard quite enough. This time you won't stop me. Catch him, Watson. What the? But why? Run, Watson. Hurry. He's escaped. I hope that your motivations are founded, Holmes. I don't much like skirting around the edges of the law like this. It is annoying. Let's leave without delay. What have you found in the chest, Holmes? What in there is so precious for these men to commit such terrible acts? The Reverend was telling the truth. Nothing important was locked inside the chest, apart from a few religious items which are hardly worth stealing. So, we haven't made any headway. Perhaps the police will. By the time the police arrive, we shall be a long way from here, Watson. We are leaving. Alright, there's nothing left here to do. Just head on out. And I'll see you in the next video.